It's been two weeks now since Robert Mueller wrapped up his witch hunt investigation and the Democrats were told once and for all there was no collusion. But I don't think that we should end our celebration just yet. There's still plenty more fun to be had. Like the look on MSNBC's Katie Turr's face when she heard the news. There was no coordination or conspiracy. So this vindicates the president on, on collusion. It does. That's the look on someone's face who's been lying to millions of people for two years straight. The Onion, the parody news website, wrote this fantastic story titled, Man who spent last two years drawing pictures of Trump and Putin making out is beginning to realize just how wrong he's been. In light of the release of the Attorney General's summary of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's long-awaited report, I can now determine the joke of Trump and Putin kissing that I've been rehashing over the last two years is completely and utterly inaccurate. The Atlantic wrote, The resistance media weren't ready for this. After years of accruing retweets and Patreon donations with fevered speculation about Mueller, anti-Trump internet personalities are scrambling to figure out what's next. Apparently, I'm not the only one who's selling t-shirts inspired from the Trump administration because there were loads and loads of morons selling It's Mueller Time shirts. Just look at all of these. It's Mueller Time, yeah, any day now. Oh, look at this Jaws parody called Laws with Robert Mueller heading up to the surface to eat Donald Trump. This guy put Robert Mueller's picture on his shirt in the same style as that popular Obama Hope poster saying that it's Mueller time. No, it's more like thug life Trump time. Maybe we can't really blame them. After all, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff kept leading them on that he had the evidence but couldn't talk about it because it's classified. Have you seen any evidence of collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign? Uh, well, that's not something that I can comment on at this point. I can't comment on who uh, Bob Mueller may be looking at. I can't comment on what evidence we've been presented. I can't comment on what's been presented to us. No, I can't comment on whether those uh, reports are accurate. I can't comment on what uh, Bob Mueller may or may not be investigating. I can't comment uh, on what our committee is looking into. I can't answer that in terms of the investigation. I can't comment on the content <laughs> of any material. I can't comment on anything we may be learning. Of course you couldn't comment because there was nothing there to even talk about. What do you think, Michael Avenatti? Um, I am nervous. I'm concerned. I'm scared. Oh my, how the tide has turned. CNN and MSNBC's ratings continue to tank, leading Newsweek magazine to report that Rachel Madcal found huge rating success covering Trump and Russia. So now what? Glenn Greenwald, co-founder of The Intercept, who's also the guy who Edward Snowden gave that batch of documents to, is a liberal, but for some reason didn't come down with social justice warriorism. And here's what he has to say about Rachel Madcow, his former friend. It was continuously on MSNBC, which, let me just say, should have their top host on prime time go before the cameras and head, hang their head in shame and apologize for lying to people for three straight years, exploiting their fears to great profit. These are people who are on the verge of losing their jobs. That whole network was about to collapse. This whole scam saved them. And not only did they constantly feed people for three straight years total disinformation, they did it on purpose, Tucker. They sure did, Glenn, but their audience are the sharpest tools in the shed, and I'm sure that they've already forgotten about it by now. There was just a protest in Times Square by about 15 morons who brought signs and started chanting about how they want the Mueller report to be released immediately. Release the report! Release the report! Release the report! Don't worry, it's gonna be released pretty soon, and I can't wait, because we're gonna get to see you clowns freak out once again. To commemorate the Mueller investigation finally being over and revealing what we've all known, that there was no collusion, I have released my new Trump Thug Life t-shirt. Order yours from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And like all of my shirts, of course, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out. <laughs>